Well, I think that one should have a government health warning because that sort of smoking can really damage your health. There's no doubt about that. What a motley crew. I'm having a little bit of trouble getting going, but uh, that's one thing about banger racing. There's never any uh, shortage of someone to give you a push up the back end. A somewhat bent Batman. Batberg sandwich there as they get uh, pushed away. Seem to be rolling. And uh, we've got something like uh, 40 cars here, or a little less if you count some of them as only being half. goes 1-1-1 one, 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 straight into the fence. And a lot of congestion there and a lot of congestion here. Bumpers hanging off the Dormobile. The others funnel through. A little balloon man looking for the gaps. When he just caught the back of the Thames uh, TV wagon going through. Of course, the object of the exercise here is just one thing. There's no race to win, there's nothing else to do but to tie yourself out, pushing yourself these things around. Into the fence he goes. Suitably patriotic for Jubilee year. Now, which way to go? Straight in the back is one way to go. Two Backberg specials. reduction on the one old model Vauxhall van. He's going very well nipping through, but he's not uh, doing very much to get rid of the opposition, because uh, all you've got to do is to get rid of every single other car. There's only one winner in this one, there's no place man. is to uh, inflict as much damage on the others as you can and the minimum damage on yourself. Slight modifications to the front wings, both wings of the transit. Oh, just a <laughs> passing blow. I think it did more damage to his front end than the one that he hit. That one looking very smart still. How much longer, I don't know. Batman getting a little bit of a, a battering. That's, of course, one way of doing it, because you're less likely to damage your motor at the back than you are at the front. So if you can find someone, you can see where you're going. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Well, that has done some damage at the front that time. I don't think the horse on, on the top is going to be the odds-on favourite uh, very much longer. Wheel-to-wheel -wheel conflict. And he just squeezes his way through. Oh, he's hooked onto the other one, I think. No, Stu Bell is now free. technique and that one on the front technique as you can see that has made some fairly drastic modifications to the front 25 uh, wreaking his vengeance on 625 Alan Stern off uh, in search of conquest new ah he looks like he's going to reverse
and he's looking a little bit uh, more battered than earlier on. The bumper now nearly completely off, and the back end is going to get a little bit more of a hell, but a great big crease comes in the back body panels as that other one hits him. He'll have a crease somewhere in a minute, too. And 25 has got something personal against 625, I'm sure. Well, the field is getting whittled down a bit, there's no doubt about that. We started with 40-odd, and we're down to about, uh, well, I don't know, something in the region of a dozen to 15 that are still running at this stage. Certainly thinning them out fairly drastically now. Jubilee special there, <laughs> gone three wheels to nip round that corner. Suitably inscribed for this Jubilee year with Liz Rules OK. Side of that man that he just caught. We'll try and catch him on the corner if he can. And uh, Batman has got some steering problems. The wings now jammed onto the tyres. That's really going to reduce his mobility fairly drastically. Considering he's been uh, oh fairly well in the thick of it, he's still going. Uh, he's still going very well. And the kids in the, in the crowd really love that. That's what they want. A little bit of action. Pete Horsted, that is from uh, Hemel Hempstead in the uh, 81 van. This little 154 that's been going very well. Terry Draper from Surbiton. And uh, despite the damage, still going well. And Keith Turner, 6.25, went through there. He's got himself going again. 3.94, rather foreshortened uh, front end, but that's not going to stop Graham Levitt. Has to find someone else to run into. He's going quite fast, too. One of the Battenbergs is going to help into the safety fence wires. <laughs> he's certainly taking it out of that one. He's not content with that, he's going to have another go, and so is he. Two, three, oh. Bit of an anti-climax there, or maybe he changed it. And 201 is really looking very, very sad indeed. Oh dear. The door is gone, the whole of that front wing section's gone, the bonnet's gone, the engine's pushed back. I don't really think he's going to go a great deal further. More and more bits hanging off the back of 40154. Dormobile's still going of those three. Uh, 201's given up. 201 has given up. And so is 111. <laughs> Bonnet now hanging right off the front. I've got a feeling his radiator may have gone. Just a suspicion. So gently, these two, like teeing himself up for a shot at him. Will he? Won't he? Batman still in the thick of it. Pete Horsted. Two ninety-four found himself uh, a new target. Now that's one forty-nine. That Dormobile uh, we were watching a minute or two ago. Trevor Handley. Uh, really one of the lads to get stuck in. Who can you find now? I think he's got some steering problems there, and I think that uh, metalwork rubbing against the tyres is not doing a lot of good. Just uh, generally sorting the situation out, seeing who he can uh, have a go at. I think, ah, he spotted someone. He spotted someone. The only problem is to uh, see him. There we go. Can we find? It's poor old 
294. And 81, still going remarkably well. Ah, oh, here's our old friend 25. He seems to have come back in it. It's Alan Stern, in fact. There's the uh, now finished sports scene uh, entry. Here's old Batman. Steering getting even more reduced. He's got a puncture, I think, to further complicate it. And here's our Happy New Year guy, number 81, Pete Horsted. Going great guns. He's still got a brake light working too there. And that was 353 that uh, he just clobbered. Grand viewed from South Sea. Has that stopped him? I don't know how much longer he's going to go. He's been sitting there for some time. The rules are that if you stay still for too long, then uh, that's it, you, you're ruled out. There's a limit to how long you can try and get the thing going again. Keith Turner's OK. He still moves, even if it's only in one direction. Ah, now if I can only find a gear, doesn't matter which one, anyone will do. Batman's still going round, even if it is in ever-decreasing circles. 291. He seems to be remarkably mobile. Arthur Ingram, bravery. Oh. He's really giving 149 the... Uh, in fact, he's got 149 going. I was just about to say, he's giving him the treatment. Well, it's a uh, very beneficial treatment, because 149, I think, was stopped, and he's now moving again. I'm sure Trevor Handley is very grateful for that. He's going to show his gratitude. Like that! He would have done if he could have found him. Ah, oh, Batman will do, though. Any port in the storm. We must be down to the last few, I think, now. 81, 149 and uh, 291. I think those are the last three. This is where the battle is going to be. Ah, 291's making a run for it. Making a run for it. 291 says, oh, no, you don't. Take that! Whoa! He's going to have a very stiff neck in the morning. There's no doubt about that. Now what's going to happen? Who's going to come out of this still moving? 291 is still going. Yes, oh, 353 has sort of come back into the fray now, uh, and 625 is crawling. Now whether in fact, uh, whether in fact those two will be uh, allowed to continue to participate, I don't know. Meanwhile, now here's 149. Half the windscreen area is obscured by uh, what was the bonnet, and the rest is obscured by the steam. Be like a Turkish bath in there. Look at the state of that Anglia van. At least I think he was or is an Anglia van. Works. Take that! Now, where did I leave that gear? It must be here somewhere. Here we go. Oof. These two can't take much more of this, surely. Oh, yes, they can. Oh, yes, they can. Look at the back wheel spinning as fast as it can go. He thinks, well, if I can't bash him out, I'll steam him out. One, two, three, and off. Oh. Now, if your car or my car breaks down on the motorway, one little fuse, one little wire, and the thing grinds to a halt. But look at the state of these cars, and they're still moving. And here comes Batman. Batman is coming to join the fray now. Talk about three wheels on my wagon. Meanwhile... Oh, he's happy anyway, look. He's got a smile. He's still smiling. And meanwhile, 149 has had to give up. 149 has had to give up. And 291 is still going. 291 is still going. Now, is anybody else moving? Is anybody else moving? I don't think anyone else is moving now. Let's see. Or have they decided? No, they've decided. They've decided that that's it. 291. Arthur Ingram from Raybury is the winner of the Destruction Derby.